Um, my name is Richard Chen, and I'm currently assistant professor at Stony Brook University. Hi, so my name is Dennis Park, and I'm at Drexel University. So how I got interested in to doing this line of research is because uh, I'm always interested to understand how non how various informational and non-informational cues could influence uh, investment decisions. So uh, we, the context we use is business plan competitions. So when we first look at the business plan, we realize there are a lot of variations in terms of the use of product image and the use of colors. Some business will, some business plan will use will include a lot of colors or a lot of image, while others won't. So that gave us the motivation to try to uh, see what type, of uh, what type of visual cues could influence screening evaluation. That's what motivates us to do this uh, research. So basically, we, did, we conduct two different studies. So for the first study, uh, we collect business plan uh, competition executive summaries. Uh, for three years. Uh, so we collect a number of business plans and basically we content analyze these business plans and also extracted visual cues such as uh, the number of images that have been used, product image have been included in these business plan and also what type of uh, colors have appeared and in this business plan. And then we also collect important informational cues such as team characteristics, entrepreneurial characteristics, et cetera, et cetera. And we then ran uh, regression analysis and found that there's a significant relationship between the inclusion of product image and the a significant effect of uh, color, the color red. And overall, we found that uh, by including a product image, they will increase the screening outcomes of for the business plan. However, if you if we if that business plan include the color red, uh, that will actually decrease the screening outcomes. Then after that, we conduct another study, uh, 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 two experiments, and we went to a conven uh, franchise conventions and have franchise investees evaluate uh, a number of business descriptions and we experiment, experimentally manipulate uh, whether a business description have include image or not. So that's one study and also we experimentally manipulate what type of colors have been used in that business description. And there we found the consistent effect of red would reduce the uh, screening favorabilities, but we did not find much impact for the uh, image, product image. So it's a two study design, and overall we found consistent effect that by including the color red, that actually would decrease the screening favorabilities. Yeah. However, this line of research only uh, probably only applied to the Western context because colors have different. Uh, type of connotations in Asian cultures. In Asian culture, color red is symbol uh, prosperity, fortune, and that often could lead to positive outcomes. So we are currently doing a follow-up study to see how uh, the effect of color might be different across different cultures. Yeah. Uh, I think the most important practical implications uh, of this study can be uh, twofold. Uh, first, uh, the study can have some implications to entrepreneurs who are trying to raise some funding. And the study also has some implications to investors who are trying to invest in new ventures. So for entrepreneurs, uh, uh, I think one of the most important lessons for entrepreneurs is that uh, it's, it's not just the content of the business plan that matters for, for getting funding, but also other things such as visual cues, uh, such as uh, the pictures and the colors themselves can play an important role for investors making decisions of the business plan. And in particular, uh, we saw that uh, more picture tends to lead to greater funding amount and uh, uh, the color red tends to lead to less funding amount in general. And as for investors, it can have implications in that, well, 
by knowing the findings of our study, they can uh, be uh, better informed in what, uh, on how to evaluate business plans. And uh, there are some prior studies that show that once investors realize uh, the effect of uh, non-substantial information, they can actually be more objective in evaluating business plans. So perhaps, uh, like the color red, for example, it's not really consequential to the business model or to the profitability of the business. Uh, by Getting our study by, by knowing our study, uh, perhaps investors can better learn on how to ignore the, the less important information about the business plan. I think those are probably the two most critical uh, implications of our study.